up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Got a fun lesson for you. Finally, I've done a Rush lesson. First one I've ever done. Thanks for your patience on that. Only took 10 years, no big deal. Anyway, fly by night, let's break it down. Here we go. All right, so I'm using a clean sound on my amp here, and then I'm using the full tone OCD overdrive pedal with the drive at nine o'clock, which means it's, it's only up a, like 15 to 20% on the drive. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with a D chord, like so. Pinky's going to come down to the third of the high E. Index finger is going to move over to the second fret of the D, and we're going to get the open A in there. And that's an A7 sus4. And the notes are being cut off by my right hand. So the next move, and by the way, the ring finger is going to be on the third of the B, pinky is going to be on the third of the high E. We're going to go open A, second fret A, so. Then middle finger is going to go up to the third of the A, and index is going to go over to that second of the D for the C add nine chord. <laughs> We got to catch that because we're going to pick it. And the, the thing that's all right is any note you hit is going to be fine, but we want to try and target the D string and then these high strings here, like the G, B, and high E. So check it out. And then we're going to take middle finger off, index is going to go to the second of the A, and we just do the same picking pattern. A, D, strum. Then open A, these are still glued. Open A, then the first fret of the A. So you have to stretch it a little bit. And so the you just strum it the same way as the other chords. And from this move, right into that classic A chord. And you can do it like the A, the one finger A chord. Open A and get the, you know, just try not to get the high E in there, but. And then you just simply strum those same strings, finger comes off back on. So when you put that all together, you get this. So the next section, it's pretty cool because we use this D shape, but we move it up here to where the middle finger would be on the seventh fret. 
And that is a triad, and it's a G major. So we hit that, we stab it once. So fa, la, night. You can match the words even. Fa, la, night. If you can sing that high. So you go that down to the classic normal D. So. And it just, the rhythm matches with the words. Then we have to do this little thing that's related to what we're already doing, but it's this. And it's uh, three on the A, two, open. And I'm just going to the G. I mean, that could be down, but my middle finger's muting. It's like a classic G power chord. Because on the first time, every time it does that, it. Woo! Almost like BB King style. You gotta hop up here to c capture the 15th fret of the high E and the B. You get the open G in there too. And it's just a little stab on a G chord. It's like a G power chord, you know, it's these. It's just this up an octave. So check it out. Fly by night, good ba -da -da -da. Like that. Here it is again. Then, same thing. And if you match it up with the words, da, 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 again, uh, it, it goes to the A later than you think. It's the last syllable of that line whatever the lyrics are. And it does another one of those open back on the A chord. So. So now it does not go up there. And really you can just do that for fun when you hit a G chord. But then, so, you know. To tag and get back to the first part again, it does that little thing we already learned, which is nice, because we already learned it, hopefully. So this bridge starts on a D chord and then goes up to what would be the F triad, which would have that middle finger on the fifth fret. So second fret to fifth fret with the D shape. Then up a whole step, so the middle finger, just for tracking, would be on the seventh fret, one stab. Then the C major triad, which looks like this, eight, eight, nine. Then the D major triad, this thing, up a whole step, which is 10, 
10, 11. So check it out. D up to minor third, then up a whole step, new shape, D. So, but then there's picking, so it's kind of, really it's, it's based on the... Just picking away like high E, B, G. So. And then no picking. But then picking again. And sometimes he reverses some of the picking, but it's just know that it's these little triads and you're just picking them out. Now we're going to play an A minor 7, which is index on the first of the B, and then middle finger is on the second of the D. And if you, I mean, you can strum the whole chord, but really we want to focus on that same, kind of the high three strings. But the first chord is A minor 7, like this. So the next thing we do, we're just going to play a little piece of this A minor chord. First fret B, and then uh, second fret G. Same kind of high string picking. Then it's an F major 7 chord. And you could strum it and then pick it to, to, to just get that, kind of get that note in there. But... I mean, you can. And then it's a G, 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 G. But it sounds like he's playing it this way. You just take a C chord, look at that ring finger, move it up to the 10th fret. This is a different way to play G. You get the open G string in there with this note. So, all right, to recap that bridge, D up to the fifth fret there, so. Up a whole step. Pick it. This little piece of A minor right here. An F major seven. And then the C, uh, uh, C shape where the ring finger's on the 10th of the A string. Bum, bum, bum. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting Marty Music right here. And uh, we'll see you in another lesson real soon. See ya! Uh.